In this how-to tutorial, I'm going to show you the basic animation in PowerPoint. Prior to beginning, I want to answer the question, why animate? First, the purpose of animation is to guide the reader to see what you want them to see first, second, etc., versus having everything on one slide. The second part is to provide rich and engaging visuals to carry out the intended message. Please note, it is highly discouraged to have several animations on one slide. The only time several animations occur is when you might see something like a Disney Pixar animation of images or a video. Too much animations for text and static pictures makes the learner not want to continue that particular presentation. Okay, instead of bombarding them with an image as well as words, you want to kind of separate that for the learner to kind of absorb the information. So first, I'm either going to take away the picture and have the words first or take away the words and have the picture. Let me show you how to do that in the animation box. When I click on animation, here are various animations. Appear, fade, fly in, float, split, wipe, shape, etc. When I go to the right side of the screen, I'm provided with more animations as well as something that's called add animation. Prior to adding any animation for the images, I like to click on animation pane to show the workplace in which my stuff will be held. On the right side of the screen, you'll see all the animations and then you can actually edit based on your specific. I have to ensure what I want to be animated is highlighted. I then go up and click on Add Animation, and I have choices, Entrance, Emphasis, and Exit. So first I'll show you the most common, which is Appear, Fade, Fly, and I'll do Split. When I'm done with that, within the animation box there's a number one, so that's the first animation. When I hover over it, it tells me what type of animation it is, and how it's going to be put in. So here it says on click. So in order for the animation to happen, I must click it on the mouse key. I must use my right arrow or press enter. Here I'm going to make it go automatically. So I press on the down drop box and then I click on timing. When I do that, there's a box that shows up split. Now splits the animation choice I, I did. Start, you can either choose on click with previous after previous. The delay in which you want, so we'll wait about a minute, second and a half. How fast it comes in ranges from 0 0.5 to 5 seconds. I can repeat it or here I have my image once again and when I press play this is what it looks like. So the viewer has a few seconds to actually process the picture and then there's text that comes within the screen. On my next slide demonstrates examples of chemistry and I'm asking the learner to explain how these pictures display the idea of chemistry. So I could create a slide with all four pictures across, but sometimes that's too much to the learner. So this is where animations come in, and there's two different types of animations. You can animate on this page the first picture, then the second picture, then the third picture, then the fourth picture. Or you can also do a live animation where they're overlaid, and let me show you what that looks like. Let's first do this image first, then the pills, then the melted butter, and last but not least, the lipstick. What I need to do is highlight the image that I want, click on Animations, click on Add Animation, and then select the one I want. So I can go to Entrance, Emphasis, Exit, etc., and I can also go to More Entrance Effects. Here what I'll do is I'll do what's known as the bounce, where it looks like it's bouncing into the picture. So if I were to view this animation, it looks like that. Now I'm going to continue that process for the remaining pictures. I'm going to highlight the picture I want, click on the word animations, scroll to the right hand side that's called add animation, and then select the image that I want. Let's take a look in full screen. Click on the image, then click on animation, go to the right hand side of the screen, name add animation, and then select whichever one you want. Here, what I'm going to do, select more animations by clicking on more entrance effects, and now I'm given various things. So I'm going to click on spiral in, press OK, click on the other image I want, then click on add image, I'm going to go to more entrance effects, we'll do central revolve, and then press OK. So when I preview this page, I can see the first woman bouncing in, then the pills coming in, then the bread, and last but not least, the lipstick. 
Please note the animations kind of came in very fast. So what I need to do is adjust within my animation pane the timing of this image. As you can see in the animation pane, there's four animations that take place. Here it lists the picture 4, picture 10, picture 6, etc. And when I hover over it, it tells me how it's going to be played. Now all of these at the current time are played only by clicking of the mouse, the right arrow key, or the word enter. Now when I take this concept and hover over the images, please note the 1 correlates with the animation, the 2 is a second animation. So now I want to adjust its settings for the timing. I click on the drop down box and these are automatically start with previous, means start after previous, but my famous one that I use is timing. And what I do is I adjust accordingly. So here I'm going to start after previous. I'm going to give it a second delay just so it can process the text on the screen. Medium is fine and then I'm going to press OK. I'm going to repeat these steps for each image. Drop down, timing, adjust the timing after previous. I'll give it a second delay. I'll make this one fast and then press OK. And I'll repeat those steps for the remaining two images. Drop down, timing, after previous, I'll give another second delay, we'll slow him down a little bit, press OK, and last but not least, we'll address the same thing for lipstick. So currently this is what my page looks like. Now as one can tell, the images are coming in within their own and not using click you can adjust depending on your type of audience. Will you be addressing a live presentation and need to click from image to image? Do you want the images to be moving on the screen while you're talking? Using the same pictures on this slide, I want to illustrate to you the process of overlay using animations within PowerPoint. So instead of having these four pictures coming at different times, I want them to be on the same page but add animation and then the animation is removed. So let me show you how to do that. In my workspace, I put these extra pictures on the side just to give me enough room. I'm going to actually increase the picture of her to take up most of the screen. Why? Because you want to make sure the images carry the message and you also want there not to be too much white space and not enough picture. So here I have the image of the girl. Now I'm going to actually animate. I'm going to click on animations. Then I'm going to make sure the animation pane is within my board. And then I'm going to down click for add animation. And then I'm going to click on appear. And here it's now within the animation pane. Okay. Next I want to show you how to remove within the image. So now I click on the image again. Go back up to add animation. And instead of entrance, I'm actually going to talk about exit. So here, she's going to split out and fade. It's important to note that in PowerPoint, green means go and red means you're going to disappear. So just think red stop or removal. Now when I do this, they're both on click. I'm going to change that, change their timing to after previous, and then I'm going to give it about a second delay and then press OK. Now, when you remove an image, it's really important that you adjust the timing and use the word what's known as after. So after previous suggests that you're going to remove it after a certain amount of time. We'll show you the delay. We'll make it 1.5 seconds and how fast, very fast. Now let's take a look at what this looks like. So here you have the image and in a few seconds, she's gone. Now I'm going to do the same premise, but please note the girl is actually behind the pills. I'm going to animate it and then remove animation. So let me show you how to do it. Make sure the image is highlighted. Click on Add Animation. I'm going to say select the wheel. And then I'm going to make sure my image is highlighted again. Add Animation and I'm going to remove it by floating it out. Okay, so once again, I need to make sure I adjust the time setting. This is important after previous. I'll wait a half of a second. I'm going to make him go medium is fine and then press OK. And once again, the red suggests they're removing him outside the presentation. I'm going to adjust the settings and then remove him as fast as I can. 
Okay, so as a viewer, one does not know that these pictures are what's considered an overlay. So this concept is used a lot in Disney as well as in commercials. So when I play it, this is what it'll look like. You first have the image of the girl, she disappears, and then the medications come on top. You continue you can you can continue this process for a long time, providing a rich, engaging video. So please know animation is beautiful to allow text and images to come in, but they also give you a rich and engaging experience. Hope this helps in providing the basic animation understanding in PowerPoint. Can't wait to see your animations online.